Cabo Bruno ultimately joined the military police of Sao Paulo State, but his thirst for power led him down a dark path, and he eventually became a vigilante serial killer who dispatched many to the afterlife on a whim. According to several victim accounts, some of Cabo Bruno's executions were solely motivated by the victim's appearance. These claims were further corroborated by the police after his capture, with one particular incident reported where Cabo Bruno had killed a boy because of a small cross tattooed to his wrist. For Cabo Bruno, any kind of tattoos pointed at some sort of criminality, and as the judge and jury, he could execute such persons at will. Operating strictly during his spare time, Cabo Bruno assembled a death squad that mostly targeted traders in the district of Jabaquara. The group opened fire on unarmed civilians like crazed maniacs while also extorting the traders, who had no choice but to part with their money in a bid to save their lives.